an all-girl K-pop group was detained at LAX uh, on suspicion that they might be sex workers. Uh, Margaret, I'm not making this up. Um, it's an eight-member uh, band. They're called Oh My Girl, <laughs> OMG. Um, they were held for 15 hours. They were detained for 15 hours. I'm surprised that they weren't able to prove to authorities, TSA, whoever's over there, that they're not, uh, you know, child prostitutes. They're simply here to do some concerts, do some photo shoots, and they're leaving. I mean, and they're pretty popular, too. This isn't, you know, some band that no one in Korea has ever heard of. They're quite well known. Right. I mean, Korean hip-hop, who knew? But look, the fact that TSA would hold these, these women, it doesn't... 15 hours is excessive. They were just doing their job. They wanted to make sure they weren't being trafficked. So the, that's commendable. You know what, though? They apparently had gone through their bags and saw what they had as far as clothes and, and their props, I guess, for that photo shoot that I was talking about. And they were deemed uh, trafficked sex workers. Right. Because of their clothes and, and the, the props maybe? that they had. I don't they know. That's, like a dildo that's what bag, I'm thinking. A feather boa, what kind of props handcuffs. are we talking about here, you know? Um, so uh, I wouldn't expect this kind of thing from, you know, LAX or any part of the, uh, the US. The maybe, huh? maybe an hour they could figure out, they could go to the internet and just put in their group. They would pop right up. It's all in English. I mean, wouldn't that take 15 hours is the problem. 15 hours is the problem, and you'd think they'd be able to prove it earlier. You know, one thing that um, is a problem back in their home, home of Korea is, you know, a lot of these groups have very young girls. Um, the majority of Oh My Girl happens to be 18 plus. There is one member who's 16. But it's a big problem in Korea that, you know, you have these groups um, that are, you know, full of kids who are like 12, 13, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. And the government really tries to crack down and kind of say, you know what, we're going to ban your music. We're going to, you know, deem this as R-rated stuff. We're not going to play it on the TV if you keep being this sexy with these 12 and 13 year olds. Um, it's mm -hmm. deemed like... I guess they're kind of seeing it like we're sexualizing young kids in, in the pop industry, mm -hmm. um, which is oftentimes the case here, here too. Yeah, we do that here. Um, we tend to do it. I've heard that that argument made for little girls in the pageant industry that are under twelve. You know, sexualizing little bitty girls like that. But I don't think that's the case here. These girls seem lovely. They all seem well equipped to handle international fame. Too bad about the the little hiccup that just happened. But now they're are they back. Suing? Do we know if they're going to sue? They're looking into whether or not. Uh, this was unlawful detention. So possibly. Possibly. They, they could take some legal action, but, you know, here it is. They're, they're back in Korea now, but uh, poor Oh My Girl pop group uh, being detained at LAX, uh, perhaps unlawfully, just because of the way they were dressed, their age, and the props found inside of their luggage.